In this Auto Chartist intro series video, we will be discussing trending chart patterns. Trending chart patterns should ideally accompany an initial trend reading of six bars or greater. Six bars representing the absolute minimum reading that will identify or confirm a trending environment, ten bars being the maximum. Depending upon where the initial trend reading is between 6 and 10 bars when they accompany a trending chart pattern such as channels or wedges, there will be different assumptions or expectations according to whether we feel the pattern will continue, whether it will correct, or whether it has the potential to reverse. Let's take a look at first the pattern types that can be traded when the market is trending. Ideally we should see channel down, channel up, falling wedge and rising wedge chart patterns when the market is trending. Remember that there is also the chance within a trending environment to trade head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, and flags. These three, shoulders, invert head and shoulders, flags, would ideally be utilized in a six bar or a medium to low initial trend reading. So six, seven, maybe eight bars. Strong trends aren't necessarily the best environment for these patterns, but they still can be traded in a ten bar initial trend reading. Specifically though, let's discuss what we would expect if the initial trend was 6 bars versus say 10. Using this channel up here as a, an example, when the reading is 6 bars, we will not be surprised by corrections to the uptrend line support from where we can initiate an auto chartist retracement correction by in an uptrending market. It would be an auto chartist retracement correction or an arc entry in a downtrending environment off resistance. So with a six bar reading those corrections are much more expected. Take the other side of the initial trend reading, the maximum 10 bar and continuation higher through resistance or continuation lower through support would be expected versus that correction. This is because the strength of the trend is indicated to be stronger, to be higher with that 9 or 10 bar reading. Consider that when we examine there's a number of emerging patterns where we have a trending chart pattern alert Let's go ahead and take a look at just a few of these chart pattern alerts and determine how we can decide the potential entry strategy based upon the initial trend of each of these trending patterns. So first we'll take in a Euro US dollar in a 30 minute. Notice the initial trend here is very high. I will be less likely to expect a bounce off this uptrend line support in such a high this is the maximum initial trend reading. More likely, I would expect prices to exhaust in this area and continue higher through the resistance of the pattern. Let's take another pattern example. Here's the dollar Swissy, the US dollar Swiss franc, falling wedge on a 60 minute time frame. Notice the initial trend reading here. At what is an 8 bar initial trend reading, this is certainly a trend, but it's not a maximum trend. This would be considered a medium reading. If a low, if a low reading is a 6 bar initial trend for a trend, trending market, and 10 bars is a strong reading for a trending market, 8 would be considered medium. In a medium reading, the correction is not surprising. So this area, the resistance of the downtrend line of this falling wedge, this would be an exhaustion level 
from where we would enter an auto chartist retracement correction short sell as market as the market exhausts and expect a resumption of the overall trend which is lower let's use another example and this time we'll take a look at the flag now a flag is a pattern that can be traded in both a trending and non-trending environment looking at this flag on the 60 minute chart of the US dollar, Euro US dollar, notice the maximum initial trend reading. Flags can be considered both continuation and reversal patterns. However, it's not uncommon to see a flag angled higher be considered a bear flag, where prices are expected to break down through support. But when the trend is up, as noted by the series of higher lows, and higher highs and the 10 bar maximum initial trend reading there should be more expectation not for the reversal of this near term uptrend but rather a continuation higher through resistance and even if prices did come down to uptrend line support here because of the strength of the trend this level should be bought until prices are able to break it indicating that this is no longer offering support so when thinking about trending patterns, it is extremely important that the initial trend be consulted and even relied upon to determine whether prices may reverse, whether they may correct, or whether they may continue. Those are the three types of entry strategies you can utilize on any trending chart pattern.